this time we will study about differentiation of inverse trigonometric functions we have here six formulas for the six inverse trigonometric functions which are the arc sine u arc cosine arc tangent arc cotangent arc second and arc cosecant u diba yung inverse trigonometric function natin is galing dito halimbawa tangent alpha is equal to 2x minus 1 all over uh, 3. Halimbawa, kukunin natin yung angle na to, ang mangyayari, gagamitan natin siya ng inverse trigonometric function. Ang mangyayari, magiging siyang arc tangent of 2x minus 1 all over 3 or yung ibang notation gaya nung gamit sa book natin is in words which is arc tan and then 2x minus 1 all over 3. So, yung itong dalawang uh, expression na to, same lang yung value niya, ano yung ibig sabihin niya. Kasi, di ba, ito, hindi siya literal na dinivide ng by tan para makuha yung alpha. Hindi siya ganun, ano, kasi kung itatry nyo yun sa calculator, halimbawa, mag uh, yung halimbawa na lang 2 dividend mo ng tan lang wala yun sagot ano kasi maghahanap ang calculator nung ano bang value tangent ng anong value yung tinutukoy dito sa denominator so walang value kapag tan lang siya dapat yung uh, yung function natin yung trigonometric function natin laging may kasamang uh, angle. Ano? So, dito, gagamitin siya ng inverse. So, proceed tayo dito sa sample problem natin. We have uh, find the derivative of y with respect to x and simplify the result when, whenever possible. So, i-perform lang natin yung uh, ang pangagalingan lang ng sagot natin is ito. Ano? I-perform lang natin yung galing sa formula, and then yung pag-simplify natin, gagamitin lang natin siya ng algebra, ano? So, try natin. We have the uh, differentiate both sides with respect to x. So, arc sine. Formula is 1 all over square, uh, square root of 1 minus u squared. So, ano ba yung magiging yun, value ng u natin dito? Diba, base din sa original equation, ang u daw is yung nasa loob ng function na arc sine. Therefore, dito, ang mangyayari, ang value ng u natin is equal to 1 minus x squared. Therefore, kapag kinuha natin yung squared nito, magiging na lang siyang 1 minus x squared. So, sulat na natin, 1 minus x squared. So, nawala na yung radical sign niya kasi naka-squared siya dito. And then, kunin natin yung derivative ng u, which is 1 minus x squared with respect to x. Then, simplify natin. So, dito, 1 minus, madidistribute yung negative sign sa loob nung mga term na nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, we have 1 minus 1, that is equal to 0, and then yung negative times negative x squared positive x squared na to. And then, kunin natin yung derivative nito. So, apply lang natin muna si power rule. Diba ito, kung isulat ko sa exponent niya, exponential form, we have raised to 1 half. Therefore, pag in natin to ng power rule, we have 1 half and then multiplied by 1 minus x squared raised to minus 1 is negative 1 half and then derive natin yung nasa loob, we have negative 2x. And then, simplify ulit 1 over 
Therefore, itong x squared natin, pwede na natin ilabas ng radical sign, which is equal to x. And then, ito, simplify natin. We have 1 half times negative 2 x that is equal to negative x. And then, i baba natin to para magkaroon siya ng positive exponent. O, 1 minus x squared na siya, ano? Therefore, pwede pa itong masimplify. Cancel yung x. So, we have negative 1 all over 1 minus x squared. So, pwede ito na yung tamang sagot or kung pwede, pwede din naman irrationalize pa, no? Therefore, ito magiging sagot kapag nirationalize. Pero, okay na tayo dito. Ito na lang yung maging final answer niya. Kahit hindi na siya irrationalize. So, next sample problem. For our last problem, sample problem, we have y equals arc cotangent x plus arc tangent of 2 plus x all over 1 minus 2x. So, pag kinuha natin yung derivative ng y with respect to x, we have, unahin natin to, arc, uh, the derivative of arc cotangent x, so ito yun. We have negative 1. Diba yung magiging u natin is si x. Therefore, 1 plus x squared. And then, the derivative of x with respect to x. Plus, ano naman ito? Arc tangent. Therefore, we have this formula. 1 all over 1 plus U. Ano naman yung magiging U natin? So, itong buong expression na to, ano itong buong term na to. Therefore, we have 2 plus x all over 1 minus 2x squared. And then, kunin natin yung derivative ng 2 plus x all over 1 minus 2x with respect to x. And then, simplify natin. Therefore, we have dy over dx is equal to negative 1. Diba ito, derivative of x with respect to x is 1. So, ito pa rin. 1 plus x squared plus ito, Dito na tayo, simplify naman natin itong expression na to. So, kung isi-simplify natin to, we have 1 plus ang mangyayari uh, i-hiwalay ko lang yung denominator to the uh, numerator. And then, 2 plus x squared. Yan. Parang dinistribute ko lang yung squared, squared sa numerator and denominator niya. And then, meron pa tayong multiplied by the derivative of 2 plus x all over 1 minus 2x. Therefore, apply lang natin si quotient rule. Diba sa quotient rule natin, we have, ano, i-squared lang natin yung denominator, then copy ulit yung denominator dito, then kunin yung derivative ng numerator, which is the derivative of 2 plus x is equal to 1. And then, minus, i-copy naman natin yung numerator pla, uh, times the derivative naman ni denominator. So, the derivative of 1 minus 2x is negative 2. Ayan na. And then, simplify ulit natin. Medyo mahaba, mahaba to ano. 1 plus x squared plus, halimbawa dito, i-simplify natin to ELCD natin yung expression na to. So, we have 1 minus 2x squared. E di, paano to? E di, magkakaroon tayo ng 1 minus 2x 
squared. So, remember, di ba, pag nag lcd tayo, i-d-i-d-d, i-multiply natin yung, ako kunin natin yung least common denominator, then, pag nakuha natin yun, di ba, ito na, i-d-divide natin dun sa term na yun, sa denominator niya, and then, kung ilan yung quotient nun, i-multiply natin sa numerator niya. Kaya, uh, 1 minus 2x squared divided by 1 is 1 minus 2x quantity squared times 1. Kaya, meron na tayo ditong quantity 1 minus 2x squared plus ito, 2 plus x squared. 1. So, kung isisimplify nyo yan, di ba ito, itong expression na to, tas ito, syempre, equal to 1 yan. Plus, iseparate mo to, ito pa rin sya. So, ganun lang. And then, ang mangyayari naman dito, simplify lang natin ulit. We have 1 minus 2x squared. And then, 1, di ba, i-multiply lang natin ng 1, e di, same lang. 1 minus 2x, and then, minus, ah, i-distribute na natin. The negative times negative 2 is positive 2, therefore, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 2x. And then, ano mapapansin nyo? Pwede nang mawala si 2x dito. Therefore, kapag sinimplify pa ulit natin siya, we have negative 1 all over 1 plus x squared plus 1. So, ito, di ba pwede na itong marisip Rokal, ano? Ito. Itong din na, uh, kapag may fraction ka sa denominator, di ba? Ito yung denominator natin. Yung denominator ng denominator pa natin, pwede na siyang i- ipunta sa numerator, di ba? Parang, kumbaga, nireciprocal natin. Therefore, mapupunta na to sa taas, and then, Yan. Pwede na natin i-evaluate pala ito. Itong expression na to. ba? So, using the concept of FOIL method or yung sa square, ano? Yung i-expand ko lang to. We have 1 minus 4x plus 4x squared plus Ito yun para dun sa una, ano? Plus, ito naman, we have 4x, ah, 4 lang pala, plus 4x plus x squared. So, paano nangyari ito? Diba, ah, pag ini-expand yung ganitong expression, yung squared ng isang ah, binomial, Diba, i-square mo lang to. We have 4. And then, yung middle term niya, ipagta-times mo siya. 2 times x, diba, 2x. Tapos, ita-times 2 mo pa siya. Kaya, naging 4x. And then, squared mo tong expression na to. That's why we have x squared. And then, pag-expand din ulit or simplify nung square by nominal na to, ulitin lang natin yung process. We have the squared of the first term. We have 1 squared is 1. And then, para sa middle term, ipag-multiply natin to considering the sign. Ano? Kaya, 1 times negative 2x is negative 2x. Then, i-multiply natin by 2. That is negative 4x. And then, kunin natin yung squared for the third term. Negative 2x times negative 2x is 4x squared. So, ganun lang yung pag-expand ano, pag nun. Therefore, ito naman, simplify na natin. We have 1 plus 4 is 5 all over. Ito naman, i-retain lang natin na 1 minus 2x squared. Bakit ni-retain ko siya? Kasi, ang purpose ko is makancel ito. Ano? Yan, ba Same expression naman sila. Therefore, pwede na natin itong masimplify. Again, ba Pag minultiply natin to magiging na siyang 5 all over uh, 1 
pagsamasamahin natin yung similar terms, the, therefore, yung constant natin, si 1 and 4, that is equal to 5. And then, si negative 4x plus 4x equal to 0. And then, 4x squared plus x squared is 5x squared. And then, copy lang natin si negative 1 all over 1 plus x squared plus. Therefore, ito na yung ano natin. Sagot ba? Hindi pa ano, pwede pa yun may simplify So, erasing ko lang to. Copy ko dito para makita. Negative 1 plus all over 1 plus x squared plus 5 all over 5 plus 5 x squared. Ano mapapansin nyo dito? Pag pinaktor out ko yung 5 dito, ang mangyayari, same denominator na sila. Kaya, ito na. Pagka-factor out nung 5, magigis siyang 1 plus x squared, then 5, then negative 1 plus 1 x squared. So, paano pa natin siya masisimplify? Ah... Uh, Cancel si 5 and then anong mangyayari dito? Di magiging plus 1. E di negative 1 plus 1. Since same ang denominator niya, pag pinag-combine natin sila, that is equal to 0. Sa hinabahaba ng sinab natin, ano 0 lang pala ang sagot. So that's, that would be all for the uh, concept ng differentiation of inverse trigonometric functions. For the next video, we will try to solve the application. Thank you.